Hi everyone, this is John. I hope you're well. Um, it's January 2024 and I'm just getting around to editing this video which was from about a year ago when I went to England for a day. Um, I went there in the off chance of meeting uh, a favorite scholar of mine who's a very um, pastoral. His name is N.T. Wright. Um, I listen to his podcasts, uh, read a lot of his books, uh, online lectures, all everything. Someone I look up to greatly. Um, I sent him an email on an off chance he was available to meet up for a beer and he responded with a yes. So uh, that was sort of the uh, precipice of or the reason going, the only reason of going to England. Um, I was in Greece uh, with family for a short trip and just on the way back made a stop in England. So uh, I didn't really have an agenda when I was in England. Again, I was only there for a day and a half. Um, I flew in uh, one evening. Uh, drew, drove down to the south because I would have some time for some uh, landscape photography so I went to the coast and then just drove up to Oxford and made little stops here and there. Um, I didn't really finish the video because um, when I after meeting NT I was just another state of mind like I was super excited had a little too much beer but I was just super excited to be meeting one of my uh, I don't want to call him an idol but uh, one of my mentors and that I've never met <laughs> until that point and uh, it was just super exciting and then I walked around Oxford for a little bit um, for a couple hours just to do some street photography and process a little bit of just getting to talk to NT right in person in a one-on-one -on -one like that and then it was just straight back to the airport so um, I didn't really get to finish the video so here it is I uh, hope you enjoy it Good morning everyone, this is John. I am in England. Um, I haven't recorded anything in a while so I thought I'd pop over to England. Um, actually I'm in the middle of a trip, um, actually headed back home to California. I was in Greece for a few days with family, doing family stuff, uh, working on a house there. Um, and on the way back thought I'd st spend a couple days in England. I'm actually meeting someone later this afternoon. Um, I got in later yesterday and I drove south to a place called Weymouth. I just was trying to find a place to stay for photography purposes um, and I saw it was like a coastal town. Uh, it was nearby, cheap hotel and it was a really nice hotel actually. It's look, overlooking the ocean. Um, funny enough I didn't get any uh, footage while I was there but I walked around last night just did a little photography around town. Uh, it was a pretty cool little area. Um, but I really wanted to come to this spot called Doodle Door because it just looks really cool. Originally when I was planning on a uh, location was a place further east, um, just another like 10 miles over. But the uh, road cl is closed for mil military artillery training. So um, yeah, so anyway, I'm up here or over here, Doodle Door. Uh, it's this place called Jurassic beach or something like that Jurassic Coast I'm actually gonna walk down to the beach but before I'm just getting a shot from up here but uh, it's funny it reminds me of an expression about don't stop at the alligator at the LA Zoo right when you get to the front entrance there's an, an alligator uh, pond right there just laying there and it's right at the entrance and as everybody walks in large crowds gather and it uh, actually uh, jams up the line the reason I say don't stop at the alligator is 
go past the alligator and there's lions there's tigers elephants you know a lot of cool stuff if you stop and get stuck at the alligator you're gonna miss out so anyway so as I'm set up here before I go I just tell you what I'm doing um, for now I've got a uh, ND filter on I'm not I don't want to have a too long of exposure to like smooth out the water too much because it just looks I'm not going for that right now um, but I just wanted to smooth out the water a little bit because uh, without an ND filter at let's say f10 I was getting just uh, under a second to where it was a little too too busy with the water it looks too busy so I thought it smooth it out with a I have a three-stop ND filter on so check this out I walk down the stairs a bit there's a uh, split one way to go to where the arch is and another way just to go to this bay area it looks really cool um, behind me because I like these rocks that are in, in the middle of the, the bay. Um, there's waves crashing behind it, so thinking about that somehow to get a good view, but it's restricted access from this point, at least from this trail. So I gotta figure that out. There's a lot of restrictions around here um, that I'm not quite used to. Don't gesticulate, don't rant, spare us the theatrics, behave yourself, be a good So I came down to the edge of the water um, to photograph this arch um, and I've been doing more close-ups of the, the arch itself instead of the whole rock. Um, just wasn't working for me um, to photograph the whole rock because it just feels heavy on this side and so just doesn't feel balanced. But as I've been standing here watching the water, um, I've noticed at this uh, pillar here, here's when the wave set comes in if you want to the waves aren't very big, but there's occasional wave sets where um, it kind of circles around the, wa the the pillar and then it ushers back out towards the shore and it just looks really cool. So I'm trying to capture that. Um, I've set up with a uh, ND filter, still three stops, just to get like a one, two second exposure, actually, what am I, two, two second exposure. Um, I put on a polarizer filter, um, so, it was getting a lot of glare so uh, now I'm just waiting um, watching and waiting right here looks kind of cool so now I'm just watching and waiting so uh, bear with me as I as I do that So I want to get one more photo before I go. Um, um, I came over further down the shore just to see the whole, the arch. And it's nice because it sticks out far into the water. Um, and with the water, it creates a nice um, balanced photo composition. Um, so I've got the camera lower to the ground uh, right here. Same thing, ND filter, three stops with um, polarizer just to get rid of the, uh, some of the glare and get more of the color in the water. Um, the focal length's 35 millimeter. I'm waiting for the water to recede, to go back into the sea. Into the sea. And it creates, to me, it creates more of like a motion toward going into the ocean. I didn't have time for breakfast this morning. I, the hotel I was at uh, laid out a nice breakfast, but I didn't have time to eat because I wanted to get to the beach for sunrise. So I pulled over for this uh, tasty steak bake, gas station food.
So as I'm driving along, I'm noticing a lot of uh, pretty places, just uh, farms. Uh, there's sheep all over the place, horses. And there's hardly any place to pull over. And where there is to, a place to pull over, it's just way too far to walk back to what I saw. But as I was walking, or driving, walking, as I was driving, I saw this uh, row of trees. Looked really cool, too much, too good to pass up. And lo and behold, there was a trail just off the highway. And I'm not sure if I'm allowed to be on this grounds, but it was too cool to pass up. I was like, I got it, I got to get this photo. And it's beautiful out here. I don't know what kind of trees these are, but there we are. Thank you.